Hi everyone. Aha, ito may bago na naman ako project na kailangan ko ibalik yung almost 100% ng electrical niya sa normal. So ito siya. Ayan. This is 650 dash 5. So luckily, ang aming company meron siyang may uh, tatago pang wiring diagram so it is possible to return in 100% or not 100% because sometimes some harness is not easy to repair or not available spare parts to repair uh, to replace sorry yan uh, ito sa ilalim marami na siya yung mga jumper na ginawa pero Pipilit ni ko ibalik sa original. All. So, ito yung model namin na 650. Old model na. mataas, ang hirap pumakyat hirap magpapaas so as ito sa harness ya so, marami na siyang mga putol-putol na wire tulad nito so yan, ipabalik ko yan sa dati so I will show in this video all once I started to repair pero meron siya ito tulad nito ayan maintindihan kung ito ay float o oh, level switch na ayun oh may nakita na siya putol. ayan ito yung may kaputol so I have to inspect it very well to make o oh, to return to the normal hindi naman siya masyadong metikuloso pero kailangan may balik siya dati para lahat ng uh, indicator o monitor sa monitoring niya o monitor yung system on how overheated na everything so So, marami na siya mga damaged wires. So, sa that, that wire was was connected to solenoids. Ang galing niya rin talaga ng papa ko. And, yan. Pero before, I was already checked with the solenoid. All solenoid is working. O, oh, diba? Sabi But ko the na, supply from the harness or from the system. It is not work. He's so, right to take his harness. The company. So okay. we'll try you to do the best to return it to the normal harness. There are many different wiring. There's only wirings. Uh, connected to the switch each and every function of the machine so that switch is used for uh, automatic acceleration of the engine kaya lang itong system na to is purely manual so wala na siyang function about this automatic uh, decelerate and accelerate that's all for now so this is the relay box okay this relay box is the place which 
each and every solenoid was uh, functioned through this relay system okay but uh, I think all it did for uh, now but I have to finish it first inside the cab there is a fuse box there's the fuse box there mostly the fuse box is burned so I was re already repaired two hours before so after the fuse box uh, I'm going to transfer in this area so to check one by one if the supply is ready reaching hirap kasi ang taas ah, taas oh. dito ako sa ibabaw ayan takas so baka matapos ko to uh, by until tomorrow so now I'm going inside the cover uh, operator's cab so the operator's cab you see so many wire hung and then also the uh, AC is already fabricated and then this is the monitor at first before uh, I started the monitor is continuously working even the switch is off and then luckily I found the problem from the from the uh, the line of AC that was uh, refabricated by the AC technician see I found the line this line was connected to the uh, switch uh, unswitched uh, line of the, uh, the that line is uh, from the ignition switch so that means uh, that supplies came from the battery going to the ignition switch so they put directly there so this is the line I already put the tape so once I switch it off to the ignition switch so the monitor is working continuously even the switch is off and the battery switch is also dahil relay I think he made a mistake about the connection of the relay so that's why that's why why the monitor is continuously working but uh, now I'm here to finish inside the cab so uh, almost everything is good for now see somewhere is damaged there I already repaired before fuse is also before is incomplete now it's already complete and everything is functioning okay could you see now by switching it on switching on you see the monitor it is on on and off before is continuously power on so somewhere that was exists here so I have to repair or uh, connect it to the right place see like that wire so I already hung with the switch I removed from the fuse box so we'll continue after this